Hello my fellow crafters, welcome back to my channel. My name is David and today I'm going to be working on the prompt for March in the ATC group, the ECD ATC group. We've got some monthly prompts there and I'm running behind. Normally I post mine on the first of the month, but yeah, life got in the way. So never mind, it's still March, so we can do it. So, and the prompt is patterns. So I was going through my stash of papers, which has grown substantially over the last couple of years. Because before that, that was non-existence, and it's surprising how fast that grows, isn't it? Um, yeah, it's fun. But anyway, I was going through that, and I found some gorgeous texture, no, not texture, pattern paper from Esther, from the Planet Essentials, and it's from one of the books, one of the Refin Reminiscence books. Don't know which one, to be honest, uh, but let's have a look. It's this one. Now, this is a pattern, and I love this pattern, so that's going to be the center stage of, of the centerpiece of the cards. I've got my ATC cards. I'm going to make three of them. I've got some uh, lace that I'm going to use. I've got other bits and bobs cut out. But first I want to give this a bit of more of yumminess, especially around the uh, the borders and around the uh, one at the bottom, because that's half a matte layer. So I'm going to spritz this with water. Now this is craft paper. I don't have a clue whether this is going to work. Yes or no. I'm just going to spritz the back so it sticks to the mat a bit better doesn't curl that much but it will curl but so this is infusions in the color a rocky road so let's just put a tiny bit on there around the edge and here around the edge as well because the middle is not that important and this one has to be everywhere. Okay, that should be enough. But I just want to give some interest to that craft paper. Okay, and I'm just going to let that do its thing. Now, while that is doing its thing, I am grabbing my scorch timber and I'm going to edge my panels. And I'm just going to let it sit for a moment, see what it's doing, um, where it needs a bit more. I can already see it there. There we go. And I'm going to, and here. Just spritz a bit more to activate the pigment, tiny bit more. There we go, that's better. Okay, now I'm gonna edge this with scorched timber. This is gorgeous paper, great quality. I love this grungy pattern. I like that. So that's going to be on top of this. I just love the difference it makes when you edge this, especially these torn edges. Yeah, they look like burned fun stuff. Okay, that's that. Just taking a brush, I'm just going to help this bit along. See where I want a bit more. There we go. That's fine. Now there's a puddle over there, so what I'll do, I'll just put my paper towel in there and let it soak up a bit. because. Doesn't need that much water on there. There we go. So I'll dry that and then I'll be back. Okay, these are now dry. I'm just flattening them out a bit and I'm gonna edge these as well. But I love how these turned out. This is yummy. Okay, so now let's see. Um, this one for sure is getting this one. Ooh, yummy. This one is probably going on this one. And this one, I think, on this one. Yeah, that's what's, what it's going to be. But I want to do some stamping on this one. Um, so I'm just going to take my script stamp. And I'm going to stamp using my black. So I'm going to get my Versafine out. Just ink up that bottom bit. Mm. 
and stamp that on there. See that? That just gives it some more texture, even more texture. So, glue. I'm going to use my Barely Art and I'm going to glue down my matte layers. So, these are on there now. Now it's time to build up the cards already because I'm going to keep them quite simple. Um, just because I want to yeah, let that pattern shine, which is, after all, the theme. So I'm going to put on my flower in the same manner on all three of them. So I cut these out using the double-sided adhesive. So let's just stick them on. So now they're sort of stickers, which is always handy. Beautiful. Then I ca also cut out three little butterflies that I'm going to put on there. So, there is that. I love how that looks. You see? They're coming together nicely. Okay, then I've got this lace that I just want to put here at the bottom. So, I'm going to use my Barely Art to glue that down. So, that is on there. Just let that dry. Obviously, it, it will, this will take a bit longer to try. And last but not least, this one. I'm going to put that one at the bottom again. And I will do the final bit of trimming uh, when it's completely dry, because then it will not shift. But I do like that bit of black lace on there. Now, I'm just thinking, I'm going to mat these anyway, because you see, not nice. So, I'm going to put a tiny little staple on each side. I love this tiny stapler, so yeah, that's fun to use. Gives another layer of dimension, which I like. There we go. So, these are on there now. That's definitely not going anywhere, so I might as well trim them off now. There we go, that's one, that's two, that's three. Nice, fun stuff. Hmm. So next I cut out some sentiments from my um, journal phrases number three. And I've stamped that out on some pattern paper also from Reminiscence the book. And that's why I did that, because it's, it's, the pattern is slightly coming through. Um, but uh, it's also, uh, yeah, the color matches the pattern here. So, just going to etch that. I'm going to put this one on here. Could have used the back of this as well, because that's a nice pattern as well, the stripes. But I chose this one because I love the... I kept, keep forgetting the name. If someone knows the name, let me know in the comments. I love that. It's going over there. Slightly offset to the right. There we go. And see the good. It's going to go on the middle one. I'm going to offset that slightly to the left, because why not? So there we have my three... my three ATC cards for the prompt patterns. Well, I guess I got the prompt right. So what I'll do, I'll put a matte layer on the back, stamp my stamp on that with uh, the ATC information, and these are done. So quick and easy, but fun. 
I think these these ADC cards are fun. If you don't have a lot of time, you just want to play. That's yeah. I like them. Never thought I would, but I do. So anyway, that is what it is, guys. This is it for today. Thank you for joining me. If you like this, give this video a thumbs up or consider to subscribe to my channel for some more fun videos like tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be texture paste. So um, that's the prompt for our journal group. So I'll be doing that one tomorrow. So if you like that, come join me for that one. Thank you for joining me today and I would love to see you for the next one. Thank you. Bye.